my favorite second graders. I hope you're doing well. Can't believe it. We are starting a new week. And this week, our new text set will be about communities. And with this text set, there's five books, and these five books we will read together over the next two weeks. So instead of one week, you'll have two weeks to do this new text set. Uh, the first book that we'll be reading today is Chinatown. The second book is For You Are a Kenyan Child. Stella Lo. Stella Lou Ella's Runaway Book. That's our third one. Armando and the Blue Tarp School will be our fourth one. And you'll probably be listening to this one next week. And the library, which you'll also listen to next week. We're going to try to do the first three books this week and two books next week. Along with this, you have two different assignments you can choose from. So it's not both. If you want to do both, you can, or you can choose the one that you want to answer and just do one. The first one looks like this, it's two pages, and it has questions about each book, and you'll answer it. So the first week will be three books, the second week will be two books. If you choose, you can do uh, one that's very similar to the ones we've done in the past. And it says, how did each character in the text set make a positive difference in the community. It is also two pages long, just to give you enough room to write. But each time you'll write next to the book that you listen to that day. So remember, you can do both if you want, but you only are required to choose one of the worksheets to do. Living and Working Together Community is our text set. And this is what it says about this text set. There are many factors that make communities unique and people within a community often depend upon each other and work together towards a common goal. Through this text set, children can explore their own roles in their community and the importance of respecting and appreciating other mem members. That reminds me of our classroom. We had a very good community in our classroom and we still do. We just don't get to see each other together every day. Um, our community, we had jobs, we were positive, we were respectful, we were responsible, and we were safe, and each of you played a very important role in our classroom. And I miss being in our classroom, and I bet you do too. Our first book is called Chinatown, and it is by William Lowe. This book our message is where we live is an important part of who we are. We can find happiness and comfort in the things we see every day. That's interesting because when we first had to stay home, even though it was my home, but I felt like something was missing and like our classroom is something I see every day. I see you every day. And it felt kind of funny when I would sleep at night or I was at home all day. Often, I would be thinking about you guys and what you're doing and what we would have been doing at school. I'd look at the clock and go, oh, we'd be reading workshop right now, or oh, we'd be having our lunch right now, or today's Wednesday, we'd be watching our science video. So seeing you and being in our classroom it was a very important part of my life that has changed. We're going to see what Chinatown is about. Our focus question today during the story is be thinking about who is telling the story for Chinatown and what did you find out about Chinatown? So as you're listening to the story, it'll be important to remember the places and the things that the character sees every day in his community. Here's the title page. I live in Chinatown with my mother, father, and grandmother. Our apartment is above the Chinese American grocery store. Most days, the Tai Chi class has already begun by the time we get to the park. Students, young and old, move in the sunlight 
like graceful dancers. We always stop and say hello to Mr. Wong, the street cobbler. If our shoes need fixing, Mr. Wong can do the job. Just like new and at a good price, too, says Mr. Wong. Chinatown really wakes up when the delivery trucks arrive. Men with hand carts move quickly over the sidewalks and into the stores. Every day, Grandma and I walk past the Dai Dai restaurant. Roasted chicken is my favorite, but Grandma likes duck best. When it gets cold outside and Grandma needs to make med medical soup, we visit the herbal shop. Inside, it is dark and smells musty. The owner, Mr. Chung, is bagging dried roots and herbs. Winter is here, says Grandma. We must get our strength up. Probably because in the wintertime, there's a lot of like colds and flu. So they're going to get nice and strong so they can fight off those germs. Sometimes Grandma and I go for lunch at a seafood restaurant. I like to watch the fish swim in the tank. Grandma says you won't find fresher fish than those in Chinatown. <clears throat> The kitchen in the restaurant is a noisy place. Hot oil sizzles, vegetables crackle, and walks clang and bang. The cooks shout to be heard. At the outdoor market, I can barely move, but we go there because Grandma likes to buy fresh snapping crabs for dinner. When the crabs seem furious, Grandma is pleased. The angrier the crabs, the tastier the meat, she says. On Saturdays, I take lessons at the Kung Fu restaurant. Master Luing teaches us a new move each week to develop, to develop your body and your mind, says Master Luing. You must practice every day. My favorite holiday is Chinese New Year. During the celebrations, the streets of Chinatown are always crowded. Be sure to stay close by, Grandma says. So remember, one of our focus questions was, is who is telling the story? On New Year's Day, the oldest kids from my Kung Fu class march to the beat of thumping drums. Grandma and I try to find a good place to watch, and I tell her that next year I'll be marching too. The New Year's Day parade winds noisily through the streets. Look, Grandma, I say, here comes the lion. Ooh, that's really cool. That is a neat costume. There's more than one person in that one. Firecrackers explode when the lion dances over. I turn to Grandma, take her hand, and say, Gung ha fat choy, Grandma. She smiles at me. And a happy new year to you, too. That sounds very fun. When I was in Hawaii with those pictures behind me, we went to a Chinese festival and we got to see them do the drums and everything. It was really cool. It was a lot of fun. Okay, so today's focus question, can you answer this? Who is telling the story? And what did you find out about Chinatown? So think about that. That was Chinatown. Our next book will be tomorrow. Have a good day, you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.